I'm gonna show you guys the things that I found. into today's video I would first like to thank Vaughn for sponsoring this portion of the video they have sent us a 16.4 foot long light strip good for enhancing home decor inside the box is this adhesive light strip which comes with this remote this is where you would power it on it also has a button that changes the lights to different colors and it plugs right into the wall this right here is the website and information to sign up online and it's it's pretty simple directions that comes in the box as well along with this primer and also these are parts that will help you hold your wires in place once you get the strips where you want them to be it's a pretty easy application you would just hold the light strip press it down as you slowly pull the adhesive back and there's also a place on the strip where you can cut it to the size that you would need. I decided to use my lights on my island because that was the best place for it. Plus I didn't want to waste the strip because it was so long. And I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said, it changes to multiple colors. I don't know, I love all the colors. I don't know which color I'm gonna keep it on the most, but if you're interested in buying these lights, I do have a 10% off discount code. It is 10 Dara TV. I'll put all of the information and the website links down in the description. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. And I know you can tell where we are. We are doing another Target haul because I have a few things that I need to pick up. So I want to see what they have in stock. Last time we were here, they look like they were out of a few things. So hopefully we have a look today. Now this is later on in the day because it started raining. You, as you can see, I straightened my hair and I didn't want to get caught in the rain, but um, we made it, we out here. I want to see if the Starbucks is open, but maybe I don't need none. I don't think I need any Starbucks. So let's get into the video. <laughs> to look at this because this is like their little mini beauty bar I saw it last time we were here but I did not take a look at what was actually over here see. I see this everywhere I never tried it sexy hair bit spray okay. they have the texture spray I wonder is this for frizz Lord knows I need it and this is the I'm for frizz and dull hair. Now, I wouldn't say my hair ain't dull. It's a little frizzy, but not dull. So, also, Nexus, I know to be a very good, uh, I should get this. this. I know Nexus to be pretty good. Humetrics. My m mother used to use this on our hair. This is the conditioner actually. Oh, they do have the shampoo over here. I have not, I haven't used it in a while, but it is a, looks like protein infusion. Keep looking. Lip butter. This lip gloss, oh this lip gloss. back after night out the good patch peel and place inside the wrist what is this for though i want something for puffiness invisible spot color cover i don't have spots rescue balm 6.99 this is the micellar cleansing water now this I was curious about. This is for Garnier. Um, I heard some good things about it that it works. Now, I just wash my face with my CeraVe or either Cetaphil and then I use Equates 
um, nighttime soothing makeup wipes. So, but this is a cleansing water that removes makeup. And this is nothing but witch hazel, which that's what I use for face toning. I actually haven't done that in a while, but normally I use the 100% witch hazel, or is it the virgin? Whatever the natural witch hazel, original witch hazel is, that's what I use for face toner. What is this? This is the face mist. This is kind of interesting though. Because are they saying this is just witch hazel? Because it does say witch hazel aloe vera formula. So I don't know, it might have a little more than witch hazel. And I wonder should I take a chance on that? I'm real picky when it comes to this face. I, I don't just mess with anything. Oh, so Native, they have their deodorant over here. I'm scared to try uh, their deodorant because there's only one deodorant <laughs> that I trust. Do I need to say it? Because I feel like I say it in every hygiene video. Okay, cleansing, cleansing and nourishing. Oh, is this body wash? Yeah, this is body wash. Hmm, I wonder how that smells. Actually smells pretty good. Okay, so they have a lot of little scrubs and stuff for exfoliating and cleansing. Um, I'm not a big salt girl, like, or bomb girl. Like, I remember my sister used to always do the bath bombs with her daughters. I'm not really into it. Um, this says whipped sugar scrub. Sounds good, but I don't know. I think I'm probably good on exfoliating washes. So I have like a few of them. Some of them I haven't even tried yet. Oh, the container's cute. Let's see, I don't see what I'm looking for. And that is a problem. Okay, so I have been wanting to try a face mask. So let's see if I see anything. Ooh, mud mask. This one sounds good. Tea tree mud mask enriched with thermal muds and tea tree oil. That one sounds interesting. This one, this is a peel off mask. Let's see, what am I exactly getting out of this? Mm, I guess this is for skin brightening though. Dermatologically approved. That's good news. I got honey and almond. They have all types. I guess it just depends on your skin type and what you're looking to improve. So I've always been curious about Shea Moisture's skincare. Um, I do see they have this African Black Soap Overnight Resurfacing Serum. This is for your face. It says blemish prone skin. I do know black soap to be um, good for acne skin i don't have acne but i do have some imperfections on my face um that are caused by this texas sun so i'm wondering would this help now i'm curious I also have even and radiant this is like oh that's for dark spot correcting uh i don't have dark spot, dark any dark spots on me Y'all, I've been thinking about oil a lot lately, body oil, because I saw this reel on Instagram where this lady uh, fell in some heels and her legs was so oiled up. Legs and uh, hips and falling, falling, falling. Oh, that knee! I was like, I need to know that oil she is wearing. Of course, we know about these. Dr. Bronner's got the big, the huge bottle, so they don't have a small bottle. All right, and we're back home. So, I'm gonna show you guys the things that I found. We pretty much ended up focusing more so on our facial hygiene <laughs> um, because I kept seeing things that that I wanted to try. 
These drinks are so sweet, but I can't stop drinking them. Okay, so I spent $47. Like how, where? I do not see $47 worth of stuff. Like why, why? I don't, I just, um, I'm not seeing it. So y'all tell me. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, <laughs> I bought that green machine drink. I also got these. Can I? It was just hard to avoid. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm trying to stay on budget and I'm up in here craving. These are cotton candy frosted cookies. I had some from uh, Walmart that were really good and I just assumed that they were the same cookies because they look the same. I don't know if they're baked the same, but first of all, and this ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but just the fact that I'm hungry. I got a sweet tooth. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So, yes. We got cookies. So, first of all. So, my teeth. Mm. I see how my hair frizzed up and it wasn't even this was we went in the evening like late evening so it wasn't even sun out for real and this still happened to me but anyway um so let's start with the teeth honey my teeth are very close together that is why I've been having a lot of issues lately um because first of all I floss every single day multiple times a day but sometimes you can still miss things. A lot of times it's not necessarily that you're eating candy and you're getting cavities, but it might be some food or something that you did not get all of it and you thought you did. And that can cause a cavity that could lead to root canals and things like that. But anyway, so I saw that they had this new floss. I've never seen this brand. It's called Grin. And it is for the tight teeth fine tight teeth and that's all i talk about my teeth close together my teeth close together well this should be pretty good because i do have a hard time sometimes like you can't really push the floss down because they're so close but um i'm hoping that this does the job i'm pretty sure it will and this is the minty the minty um flavor um, let me see. What does this say? It says earth loving made of a propriety blend of cornstarch and plastic. Really? Cornstarch? Cornstarch makes me itch. So I hope, I hope it don't make me itch. Longer floss wraps around tooth for a full floss like clean. Um, super strong fine floss. So that's another thing. When you buy the dollar floss, that stuff breaks, and especially if you have tight teeth like mine, you'll be trying to floss, and next thing you know, you like pulling it out because it then broke. That just happened to me recently, actually. So this is just saying that this is a strong grip, so it can take being in between tight teeth and pulling out. So great find, and this was two ninety nine. Since we on the topic of teeth, we got this. This is 24 hour, it fights cavities, um, strengthens teeth, improves teeth, and the appearance and freshens breath. Now, I've never used this kind, the pink bottle. I normally get like, I think I've gotten the, the green and the blue bottles, but today, I don't know, the pink was just looking cute. Plus, <laughs> plus I was reading what it says and it actually um, helps to rebuild weakened tooth enamel and reverse early tooth decay no alcohol in it which is a plus because alcohol is not good for your gums and no artificial flavors or colors that's healthy so i know we like to use listerine actually they have listerine um with uh zero alcohol in it as well but i don't know when you use the strong listerine with the alcohol 
it seems like it's more powerful like it pushes out like you can see like when you swish around and spit out if there was something in your tooth that you did not get with the floss it's like it pushes it out so i don't know but i, I know alcohol is not good for your gums that's for sure um this does not have alcohol so this is good and this is 24 hours so i don't know i've never used this particular one but the green the green bottle and blue bottle were good so i expect for this to be good and more importantly it's a lot healthier to use so and i paid 8.99 for this no 8.89 i thought it was cheaper at walmart now, every time I tell y'all that Walmart is cheaper, y'all be all in the comments talking about, no, no, it's not. So, I don't know. Those are always high, though. As you saw in the video, we were over at the mini bar, and I am excited to try this cleansing water for removing my makeup. I got makeup on right now, obviously, so I will be using it tonight to see how it removes. I already I heard that this is pretty good. Um, I saw someone else's video and they were talking about it. So yeah, we're gonna try this. This is the Missler. It was by Garnier. Is it Garnier or Garnier? I've always said Garnier. But yes, the Missler cleansing water removes makeup and cleanses and soothes. Um, it's for your face, lips, and eyes. So we're going to try this, and we're going to see. It's an all-in-one. So we're going to see if it's as good as what I've been reading. You can use it with a cotton ball to remove it. I'm so used to using the makeup wipes that <sighs> this is weird. So I'll probably just use my wipes and then squirt, squirt, and then just go from there. That's probably what I'll do. Um... I told you guys I wanted to try face masks. So I got really excited because I saw this French pink clay peel off mask I wanted to try. It is, it says it's to smooth skin and um, it's for a glowing complexion. Oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Who was calling me? I don't even know what the phone. Anyway, let me finish this video before I go answering phone calls. Um, it's a lot of ingredients. We'll see um, how it works. But the reason why I wanted to try this is because it said pore clearing. If you guys can see that, pore clearing. And I have been having issues with my pores in this Texas sun. It has literally messed my face up. So right here on my cheeks, I'm having like a texture issue. Don't have any issues with big breakouts or anything like that, but texture right here, and I hate it. I cannot stand it because I've never, I'm not a, a texture, not a texture um, type of girl. Nah, I don't believe it. And they told me the only thing I could do is probably do, I could try lasers, but I don't know. You just never know. So I want to see if this will decrease texture pores whatever whatever it is i also got this purifying tea tree mud mask because i just wanted to try mud mask <laughs> so we shall see this is by q bella bath and beauty and it's 100 percent vegan i'm assuming somewhere they have it in a big like in a jar um so if this works then I will look for the jar. It also has tea tree oil in it, if I didn't say that. Yeah, it has aloe vera in it also and witch hazel extract. Witch hazel is great for your skin. It's good for toning. So I think that was pretty smart to add it into the mud mask. So um, yeah, so we're gonna try this for sure. <laughs> I was wondering if I should try it, like, since I do have, I have makeup to wash off and all that. I wonder if I should try it in this video, but this video might be running too long. So, I don't know if I want to take you out of all of that. So, we'll do that. We could do it in a different um, video. But, last but not least, I saw this line called, is that the name of it? Don't let me get to saying it wrong. 
I found a line called Black Girl Sunscreen. Look at that, Black Girl. So, y'all know the issue we have with sunscreen. It always creates like a white ashy cast and we can't do that. So, this says Make It Matte Sunscreen for the Face. It's a gel actually. 45, it's SPF 45. Ultra sheer fragrance free now y'all know I am crazy about I hate fragrance When it comes to the face really when it comes to the body and the face. I don't like fragrance. This is fragrance free and It is for black girls And it's water resistant 80 minutes Let me see. Let's see how the bottle look. I was very very excited about finding this Look at her. So it says sun protection. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease this risk, regular, regularly use a sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF of 15 or higher. This is 45. Limit time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So they said we shouldn't even be in the sun from 10 to 2 p.m and wear long sleeve shirts. Um, child, anyway, so. I really should, but that's hard. You can't just tell people to wear long sleeve shirts. That's hard for us ladies. This is a gel. So I guess you wash your face, do your normally um, skincare routine, and then you would just put this on last to protect your skin. So I need it though, because that's part of the reason as to why the texture has formed on my cheeks is because of the sun i'm not supposed to be in the sun and when i took certain medicines or use certain creams i'm really not supposed to be in the sun but i be in the sun anyway so i mean it's kind of hard to not be in the sun and then my makeup does have spf in it but that might not be enough so i don't know y'all i'm gonna try to do better though so yeah we're gonna start with this and i will Give you guys an update on if it's even working out for me. Um, my friend also um, recommended another and it's SPF 46 and it prevents that white cast. If you guys can see it, that's how the bottle looks. So that is another great recommendation that he claims has changed his life. So, um... <laughs> We will uh, try that too. I tried to find it, but I didn't see it at the Target that I was at, and that was like a super, a super Target because they had the Ulta. So I'm gonna have to maybe order it and and try that one out as well. But for now, we're gonna see how the Black Girl sunscreen does. But um, let me know if you guys have already tried some of these products. I love to know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for coming back to another video with me. And I'll see you in the next video. And actually the next video might be a, uh, it might be a vlog, the weekly vlog. I think that might be the next video. So, because we got company coming in town. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta vlog it. So that's what we got going on. But anyway, thank y'all so much for supporting my channel. If y'all check my numbers, we almost at 3K. So I just want to thank everybody for helping me fulfill one of my dreams. You know, just a little small dream. You know, I wanted to grow my YouTube and be able to connect with people through YouTube and create content. Cause that's, I'm a content, I am straight out a content creator. That is my passion. That is what I love. And I thank you guys for um, allowing me coming to support the work that I have done over the last I've been on YouTube for several years but I was posting videos you know every now and again but I've been on here consistently I think since like June 2020 and so yes I feel like we we almost at the end of the year so I just want to thank you guys because we are almost at 3k and so Give yourselves a round of applause. Next time I see y'all, we gonna be at 3K. We gonna be over 3K. So thank you guys so much for your support and those people who have ever shared out my videos, told somebody about my channel. I appreciate it deeply. 
And I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.